Банде Гуру Падат Дандам Бхактабин Дасаман Нитам Си Чайтанна Прабхум Банде Нитам Саходитам Си Нанда Нанда Нанг Банде Радхика Чарно Дайам Гопи Жано Самаюктам Ванша калпатару веша кипа синду бевеча. Патитанам пабуни бавешна бибью наму нама. Мукан карути вача алам панумлам хайтигири. Ят кипа тамаханга банди Шнавакти паде деви сатта ватвай наму нама. Нараян намаскитта нарам чайо нараттам. Девин сарасвати гвасам тату жайо мудире. Санкиртане кишно пату кудеши. Гаурия патрасшо пракасане Садану ракта гуру бхакти жукта, бхакти прамадакш джагодарана. Дейям сада пари бхагавна бавишта духам, тетас падам сива бринчинатам сараням. Бхитати хум панутапал бхавадипутам. Банде Махапурусати Чаруна Виндам Яд Пада Паллабана Качанда Маничатай Биспуриджи Дагама Пикабаваду Швадарш Пурнану Рагара Сасагара Саранутихи Сарадика Микада Кипам Крус Си Кишна Чайтанна Прабанитанан Шиатри Тагада, Дхарасива Садихи, Гаура Бхакта Винда, Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабхунита Нанда, Шиатри Тагада, Дхарасива Садихи, Гаура Бхакта Винда, Хари Кришна, Хари Кришна, 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 Хари, Хари. Хари Рам, Хари Рам, Рам Рам, Хари Хари. Аджан Ломбита Фуджо Канака Абдато, Шанкиртану и Капитару Камула Ятачо, Вишам Бару Дижа Бару Джагадар Мапало, Банде Ягатриякару. Каруна Бхатару Хари Кришна Хари Кришна 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 Хари 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 Рам Хари Рам 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 Хари Хари Нама Миганге Сура Сарой Ревандито Дипарука Буктин Чамуктин Чадада Синита Баван Рупе Насада Нарана Ганга Таранга Рамани Аджата Калапам Гаури Нирантара Бибуши Вагам Нараяно приямананго мада пхарам, барано се пурапати бхажави шанатам, ваги се джушшо бадане, лакшмир джашвачавакшаси, джасья Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Janna 
ಮಧೀವ ಸುಭನ ಅನುಕೀರ್ತನ ಜತ್ಪ್ರೌವನಾತ್ ಜಸ್ಮರಣಾದೂಪಿ ಕಚಿತ್ ಸದೋಯೋಪಿ ಸದ್ಧ ಸವನಾಯ ಕಲ್ಪತೆ ಕುತ ಪುನಸ್ತ ಭಗವನ್ನು ದರ್ಶನ ಜನ್ಯಾಮಧೀಯ ಸವನಾನುಕೀರ್ತನಾತ್ ಜತ್ಪ್ರೌವನಾತ್ ಜಸ್ಮರಣಾದ ಜಿ ಕಚಿತ್ ಸದೋಯೋಪಿ ಸದ್ಯ ಸವನಾಯ ಕಲ್ಪತೆ ಕುತ ಪುನಸ್ತ ಭಗವನ್ನು ದರ್ಶನ ಗೌಡಿಯಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಗೌಡಿಯಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಶಿಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಠಾಕುರ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಭಜನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ಲಿವ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಲೋಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ that is the top most bhajan in the shastras also it is written goswami sad goswami is written jeev goswami pad is written this krishnasya nana vidu kirtaneshu tanyam sankirtana meva moksham ye sabse bada that is the top most thing sabse upar that is the top most naam sankirtan shri naam sankirtan that is in the limbs of bhakti in between limbs of bhakti that is the top most is forward and shravan smaran all actually they are actually uh, in naam sankirtan only and without naam sankirtan kripa that leela smaran cannot be possible at all so this kind of vichar we have already seen that practically and uh, apart from uh, just by leaving kirtan uh, differently you are doing smaran that is not at all good this is called kapat that apart from kirtan you are doing smaran separately this kind of leela smaran when you are doing the efforts you are doing that is not at all possible this is kapat bhav that is not at all good prabhupad actually speaking in kebashan of k just kirtan has so much effect that in this maran automatically is there prathamam namno sabano antakaranam sudhyapamacham shuddhe cha antakarane roopa sabane na taduday yugata bhavati shamma kudite cha roope gunanam smaranam sampadyeta this way in this way slowly steadily everything uh, jeev goswami pad has told this so nirjan bhavan bharjan prabhupad actually speaking that this is kapat bhav if you are doing like that nirjan ghare tabo hari naam keval koita pratishtha ka liye just for pratishtha and or la puja pratishtha this kind of nirjan bhajan you are showing this kind of efforts you are showing that is kapat bhav just to get pratishtha you are doing this uh, showing that you are doing nirjan bhajan this is one kind of self cheating propensity you are just cheating yourself only that is called what is what does it mean what is it, what's his name this is your uh, that we are just uh, cheating ourselves self self cheating propensity so this manushya uh, kalpito this human civilization we have by those humans this is actually called atma vanchana this is called vipralipsa that is called vipralipsa atma atma vanchana it is in the way of bhakti it is uh, there in the way of bhakti it is called atma vanchana which we call vipralipsa that is the topmost thorn in the way of bhajan 
in the pathway of bhakti that is the top most thorn there are actually millions of uh, thorns are there uh, in all the four direction it spread it actually it's already told there that millions and millions of thorns are there in the way of bhajan it is already there spreaded by maya devi today if uh, if nachitane mahaprabhu is not doing kripa on us by the way of devotees and by any any time we we can fall down because it is not uh, lot of millions of thorns are there in the way of bhakti we can't get out of an out of that by our own effort in the way of bhajan that is the topmost uh, uh, topmost vishay that is to just atma vanchana viprilipsa self cheating propensity that is the topmost thorn in those who are manodharmi jivas those who are all the time they are busy in manodharma they are actually already in drowned in manodharma bhagavad dharma is a very far distant thing samaj dharma sharir dharma body dharma man dharma all these kind of dharma they are just getting into that drowned bhagavad dharma is a very far distant thing for them that's why gokaran ji maharaj is just speaking to his father atmadev when father actually he just want to get the rectification about atmadev was just want to get some rectification in his life that what to do now at that time gokaran ji maharaj actually speaking to atmadev that these all called of lokik dharma all material dharma you just need to quit means that atma dharma you just have to do bhajan with full nishkapat bhav you have to do that you just need to get atma bhajan atma atma bhajan it is not at all uh, the first condition for to do atma bhajan is that for them it is not at all possible to do atma bhajan naam bhajan is already coming in atma bhajan only but naam bhajan is of no use because he has jealousy inside his heart how he will just get out of that matsarya bhav so this already has uh, spoken about this point already nimars nimaras samana samasatam nimarat sar bhakti that nishkapat those who are nishkapat peer persons this bhagavad dharma is there and uh, this bhagavad dharma that is also written there that bhagwan naam you just speak hari naam and you just call bhagwan then definitely that in the way of bhakti their atma vanchana that vipralipsa that is the topmost barrier topmost dangerous situation in the way of bhakti and those who are manodharmi jivas those who are already drowned in manodharma mental concocted dharma they have just made especially naturally they are actually atma vanchit they are just uh, getting have that self cheating propensity they have having topmost ruchi in that that they are just getting this cheating propensity self cheating propensity they are getting that is called the different kinds of there are different kinds of decoration of maya devi it can come in our life it can just come in different different shapes in front of us and it can come in front of us and it will definitely give us satisfaction but for a very temporary time this atma vanchana by this atma vanchana you just be careful attentive about this point be attentive on this point that this atma by this atma vanchana we are actually uh, getting uh, ourselves in the fallen condition we are just getting to a fraudster we are actually not getting sadguru we are thinking that he is this is the actual fruit of atma vanchana we are getting that we are not getting sadguru because uh, atma vanchana is already there inside my heart that's why i am getting this fruit result atma vanchana kya kare what atma vanchana will do atma vanchana what will do that who is not guru at all 
you will be just thinking that he will be guru oh yes he is actually sad guru they this will come inside your heart so this atma vanchit person definitely he will be giving lot of respect to that asad guru this prabhupad has already written lot of things are there which we i want to talk to so in the eyes of others you are just giving a dust in their eyes he is actually just want to make sure that he should get his work done so this is actually atma vanchana this is self cheating propensity this is called that so prabhupad actually speaking that uh, self cheating propensity how it will come in our life in what type and what category in what shape it will come to us and it will just transform his shape in front of us we don't know about that nobody knows about that this uh, apart from kirtan this kind of smaran etc just to get uh, material pratishtha it is nothing that those uh, humans we those persons this kind of manodharma and different kind of kirtan they are doing this is strictly prohibited to do it is in the way of bhajan that is the top most uh, dangerous thing in the bhajan they are speaking like this all actually strictly prohibited you just need to leave that don't do those kirtans all you need to uh, quit i don't want to speak this all in all four direction it is happening like that all those poor jeevas these uh, different kind of uh, verse and poems and poets it is just nama prada or nothing else krishna kirtan that just to satisfy krishna senses just to satisfy the krishna senses that is krishna indriya tarpan that is the actual bhajan then when we are satisfying the sense organs a prakrit sense organs of krishna if it is not satisfying krishna then that is that bhajan is not possible at all that is called atmendriya atmendriya tarpan they are satisfying their own senses prabhupad speaking prabhupad speaking that all those people they are actually speaking in a very loud voice they are actually it is good to just speak in front of all in a loud voice that uh, <coughs> don't do any kind of efforts to do your uh, satisfaction of your atma for your sense gratification you are just uh, whatever efforts you are doing for that it is not at all bhajan bhagwan shri krishna this just to satisfy uh, the senses of krishna all the efforts that is called bhakti and uh, for this just with a very loud voice in the whole material things in own material world in you are just speaking that that is called bhakti to all the material jeevas you are just speaking like this that is called bhakti shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu whatever that topmost instruction uh, coming from the lotus mouth of shri naam sankirtan of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu that is actual sankirtan and by this naam sankirtan only that prem sampatti topmost it will definitely uh, be sprouted inside our heart that prem treasure hidden treasure is there inside our will get sprouted inside our heart that shri krishna chaitanya prabhu from the lotus mouth of shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu this naam sankirtan bhajan is actually that is that will give us that treasure of prema inside our heart and that is uh, that is the topmost uh, bhajan in the limb of all the bhaktis that all those pure guru vishnuv they have just made a conclusive uh, result about this it is already conclusion this given by pure guru vishnuv this is the actually swam self manifested naam amrit nectar nectar of naam sankirtan that is actually vastav actual sankirtan that is the self manifested naam sankirtan those who are seven mukh those who are all unmukh those who always want that then when it is just getting manifested in those uh, uh, sense gratificated persons it is just definitely give us a new sprout of bhakti inside the heart of those sense gratificated persons this siddhant actually speaking uh, prabhupad speaking in front of us mahaprabhu actually this uh, speaking 
this uh, this point in front of us in all all of us in the way of bhajan that is nine nine limbs of bhakti is topmost and krishna prem that is the topmost is naam sankirtan you can understand this point that in the way of bhajan in the limbs of bhakti the top most limbs of bhakti are the nine limbs of bhakti and when you are doing naam in the nine limbs of bhakti are top most in the way of bhajan that this kind of vichar this is the actual vichar without any aparad when you are doing naam sankirtan that prema will definitely get inside our heart mahaprabhu has told this point the shlok which i have already started with हे ठाकुर जी हो भगवान हो कृष्ण हरिनाम योर श्रवण कीर्तन यू आर जस्ट डूइंग परिणाम ऑन टू लोटस फीड जस्ट बाई रिमेम्बरिंग यू एंड इवन द लो कास्ट डॉग ईटर इज गेटिंग इंस्टेंट प्योर इट्स नॉट ही इज नॉट बिकमिंग प्योर He is all getting free from all kind of faults. Whatever he has taken from birth after birth, he has faults inside him. Whatever faults are there, knowingly and unknowingly, faults are there. He has collected uh, birth after birth. He can just do the yagya. He is eligible to do the yagya. Birth after birth, all those faults are rectified, and he can. that's by just by doing the remembrance of your hari naam just uh, all dandvat pranam i'm paying to you instantly that uh, dog eater birth after birth whatever faults are there knowingly and unknowingly all those are actually destroyed yes and he becomes eligible to do the yagya he becomes eligible to do yagya hey bhagwan so why actually why i am not getting your darshan so if actually if i can get your darshan darshan in in darshan what is there what is there in darshan somebody can tell that that in your darshan what can can't be done hey bhagwan in that is the actual glorification of hari naam bhagwan yesterday we were just discussing about this point about the fourth shloka this is very easy to speak this shlok actually we are just speaking the we are actually just spoken this shloka but it is very to recite it is very easy but to get realization about this shlok in our own realization it is so difficult that that tatvaid mahapurush actually they know that how to get that this is not a uh, thing of joking how it is possible like that like he is not at all asking anything can it be possible like anything whatever is doing in his material world definitely he is actually doing having some target that's why he is doing he is asking some interest actually he wants something definitely whether it's at profit or some loss is there or not he is just thinking of that it is already written in the shastra also there is actually no reason no reason for that so in this situation even a mad person even he will also he will just make some uh, uh, thinking 
so mandadir means those who are very who are less intelligent mad person will do anything he is totally mad that is different uh, separate thing mando buddhi means those who are very less intelligent who is just making his mind working very less he can also get delivered mahaprabhu in chit chaitanya charitamrit yesterday i already discussed that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu the actual shikshashtakam of chaitanya mahaprabhu shri krishna das ka viraj go swami has just uh, inside chaitanya charitamrit whatever the leela of chaitanya mahaprabhu is there in chaitanya charitamrit bhagwan shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu is parat par akileshwar topmost sachidanand vigraha whatever leela he has done all leela in that leela whatever even each and every shlok he has just connected that he is connected as so much effective it is that actual with full archaran of mahaprabhu with full instructions of mahaprabhu each and every shlok he has connected it so that we can just understand and just giving us proof practical proof that is called that is practical nishkapat bhajan that is actual practical nishkapat bhajan he has shown us this already mahaprabhu has told this i have just written it very uh, before lot of before sanyas only has written and now with applied form is mahaprabhu showing us with mahaprabhu is just crying loudly and is just uh, showing us this practically and he is asking that pure bhakti from krishna that where there is that prem swabhav prem behavior is there where there is relationship of prem where there is no uh, symptom of prem can anyone can show that symptom where is there no relationship with that absolute you can't have that relationship of prema with that that i should have the smell of uh, bhakti should be there on the lotus feet of krishna i don't have that at the lotus feet of krishna not even smell of that is there this is sundari kavita this word actually i have already described bhakti no thakur and prabhupad has described this word this sundar kavita word what does it mean it indicates veda pushpita vacha in the vedas different 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 kind of decorative speeches just like flowers they are just decorative like lucrative offers are given in the vedas very nice nice lucrative offers vedas are just giving us then we will feel greediness if vedas if we, you do this you will get this result this actually they are uh, uh, this is actually this word indicates sundari kavita this mahaprabhu this is the actual prayer of mahaprabhu and this prayer apart from devotees pure devotees nobody can be it cannot be there in the life apart from pure devotees so yes he is actually capable of that but apart from pure devotees this kind of uh, capacity is not there apart from them that kunti devi only can speak this point only kunti devi the, he has this kind of capacity to speak this that oh prabhu you give me you all those nishkinchan devotees they are actually can do your bhajan otherwise nobody can do don't have others don't have this capacity to do kunti devi speaking only kunti devi can speak this that inside nobody you can't be get you can't get attracted to anyone and you can't get into the hands of anyone there is no one who has that capacity that he can just do your bhajan and you can just get uh, attracted to that person who is doing your bhajan only it is possible for him not for a normal bonded jeeva so these kind of four pillars this on this uh, f- four pillars that false ego that building is just constructed on that it is already there on that guru vaishnav ka pehla 
guru vaishnav the first work just want to kick that these four pillars what is there in the vrindavan there is atkamba 64 pillars all names are there so this four pillars this false ego of building is just built up we have already constructed that and all those pure guru vaishnav they have this uh, rules that you just need to destroy this building of false ego otherwise nothing will happen in bhajan life because whatever these four pillars are there this uh, false ego on that if one drop is there inside our heart then tranada bhi vav to get that is not at all possible i have already told this point uh, and narad ji maharaj also this uh, about the kuber these two uh, sons of kuber they have null kuber they are two sons of kuber they are narad ji maharaj actually narad ji is actually speaking about these two sons that those who are very rich persons at when those who are already getting into the false ego of their opulences those who are just dumping into the false ego of opulence they only have this one medicine that they will just become poor bhagwan already has spoken this point himself also that uh, in those who, i am just doing kripa on them for them i will just take everything of false ego that is there i will just take him from them because when i will not be taking from them this false ego then his abhiman will not false ego will not at gone when the rich man all his money is gone his false ego will go automatically he will just become a street beggar beggar that will be more good and every false ego will go away so where to go lot of uh, education is there i am big educationist and now he has just got brain stroke and oh, everything gone now all false ego gone he got pain stroke now and he don't know nobody is coming to him now so he just got uh, kicked by maya devi bhagwan already just taking his false ego away he is actually very beautiful externally so false ego has that that he is very beautiful now after that what happened he just get get serious leprosy like in the way of haridas tagore we can see that he was just about harinam he was discussing and some gopal uh, uh, that brahm that brahman has just uh, uh, argued with haridas tagore and has disrespected haridas tagore and he disrespected haridas tagore and nam prabhu that's why he just got he just got serious leprosy and he just he was so beautiful by looking that this kind of uh, everything his nose is just got melted he is for where is that chapal gopal you can see where is wall see gopal he just got serious leprosy now oh just help me oh just forgive me bhagwan just just forgive me whatever done just leave he is foolish actually see when all these four things are there i haven't seen it practically also i haven't seen though that person that uh, that they are get these four things are there and he don't have false ego in him that it is not well maybe it is very minimum but still it is there and when false ego is there then it is not possible to do bhajan and only kunti devi is there who has told and kunti devi has just prayed on to lotus feet of krishna that you give me he prabhu you actually inside in front of me you give me lot of difficulties and problems different kind of problems what you are speaking yes you give me lot of problems because when i'll get problems then definitely it will be good for me how actually our slogan is just all kind of uh, happiness material happiness should come in our life and then after that what will happen jay jagadish hare 
दैट हु विल एक्चुअली गो टू जगदीश वाई वी आर जस्ट डूइंग वर्शिपिंग दैट जयकारा टू जगदीश बिकॉज ही इज नॉट गिविंग मी मटीरियल हैप्पीनेस एंड फैसिलिटीज वेयर एवर आई एम विल बी स्टेंग ही शुड गिव मी मटीरियल हैप्पीनेस एंड कम्फर्ट सो दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग वी हैव then kunti devi is just uh, st- stopping krishna from going and krishna speaking then i now bhuva ji what is your actual problem everything is everything is rectified every solution is there of a problem now and now nobody is there to stop you can just reign over all your kingdom whatever problem now you have you can just sit on the kingdom and reign the whole world then kunti devi is speaking now what you are speaking prabhu now today actual problem has just started now today actual problem has just started oh now actual problem has just come now actual problem has just started because you will be just going away and uh, you and you will be just giving us all kind of material ashwari opulences you will be giving us and you are giving us that and you are just going away now uh, the actual problem will start now why because we will forget you now when you will give lot of opulences that is the actual problem of us so kunti devi has just realized this point that uh, we don't have this kind of realization of this vishay yesterday we were just discussing this point that in mahaprabhu has already just uh, praying what uh, nothing is there i don't need that is the actual definition of shuddha bhakti pure bhakti rup goswami pad has written this this actually rup goswami pad told this is the topmost that is the actual thing still smell of kamna masna material lust is there that will not be counted in shuddha bhakti pure bhakti and in this whole material world if we are seeing that all are actually busy in dharma ruth kam and moksha all those material persons are they don't want to think apart from that do all those material persons they don't want to think apart from this four purusharth they are only thinking about this that whether dharma arth kaam and moksha if they are actually what kind of dharma they are think speaking what kind of dharma it is that dharma has some value when he is actually brahman vaishnav he is and dham he is doing something then it that is a minimum that is actually it will be just counted in dharma but those who are actually all all karm you are doing that you are just doing for your own sense gratification it is not at all good you are doing uh, ekadashi with what mood you are doing that you are following ekadashi maharaj actually ekadashi good for health so this kind of ekadashi is be successful no this this will be ekadashi he only has this uh, motive that that he just want to make his health successful and he just can uh, do all the enjoying things and can enjoy a lot so this is not at all ekadashi he just want to maintain his health we just need to do ekadashi just to uh, take bhakti maybe the actual glorification of uh, ekadashi their book is there slowly and steadily we can find some lucrative offers in that when you will following agadshi you will get this you will get that when you will do nirjala agadshi you will get that and safala agadshi you will do you will get that everything is written in the book but i in my whole life i haven't uh, done this kind of uh, reading of that book of agadshi glorification in my whole life i haven't done the glorification of agadshi i don't have any ruchi for that to read that and and this uh, in the kumbh mela also i don't want to go to bath there in kumbh mela up till now point i uh, no i don't have any ruchi to go there to have taken bath in kumbh mela all the time means naam sankirtan and hari katha that is the topmost priority that is the topmost anand maybe i don't even don't want to go to any teeth sthan as well teeth places holy pilgrimages i am just speaking you true I don't want to go to any holy pilgrimage only Vrindavan and Mayapur because this is my house in the house what to what I just will be going to I'll be staying here only it's my house only 
uh, apart from that i don't want to go anywhere i don't have any ruchi what to do so that's why this actually in this vishay kunti devi actually whatever uh, kunti devi kunti devi what asked krishna that you give me lot of difficulties and problems why because definitely your smriti will be there inside our heart and when smriti of you is there then we will just get protected all the time and in this material world also it is very difficult to find this kind of person all the persons are all busy in dhanmarth kaam and moksha there is not even a single person i have find that this kind of kunti bhav and uh, pralad maharaj bhav is there that other she is there in them nobody i find when narsingha dev has just prayed to pralad maharaj you pralad you just ask something from me some you ask something pralad maharaj actually you what i need from you you already came in front of me and you are my prabhu and i am your servant and you have just given me the darshan and whatever i else required from you no no you just take bhagwan speaking because my name is vardhar sabha and people will be speaking that uh, varlad maharaj you has just went to pralad maharaj not given even a single desire then pralad maharaj is speaking what i will just take the things from you your kripa is there everything is done i don't need anything then pralad maharaj actually at the last he speaking that okay if you want to give something to me if you want to give me something in return then you do one thing this kind of material lust and desire there should not be even a smell and a particle of uh, material lust and desire should be there inside my heart it should not come inside my heart that that i want so actually so clever and smart pralad maharaj is actually you actually i am asking you just ask something from me you is asking that uh, this uh, desire i have that inside my heart even a smell of material kama and lust that particle should also not enter inside my heart so smart and clever pralad maharaj is so this kind of other if you just show me in this whole material world somebody has if they are actually done guru vishnu seva and math definitely there is some other motive they want some other interest without interest nobody will do definitely there is something whether it is in hidden form whether it is open definitely it is there you just ask your heart that you that you are actually free of any material lust and desire you just tell me he can't tell you if he will tell definitely he will tell lie the heart that is not at all possible so it is it is not at all possible to uh, not at all possible but mahaprabhu has just shown us this point that and in this situation when you will not up get up to that situation that to get shuddh bhakti it is not at all possible it is next to impossible to get shuddh bhakti if you just take the uh, what prabhupad actually you have just constructed 64 math and whole world you have just preaching and so much disciple so prabhupad is niskinchan yes prabhupad is 100% niskinchan is prabhupad is 100% niskinchan nobody can touch that point because niskinchan you don't know actually what is niskinchan this madhavendra puri pad ji do that madhavendra puri pad who is not at all uh, taking anyone from anyone even not even taking milk and water also from no one he is taking that without asking without asking which coming he used to take otherwise not this madhavendra pal who is so niskinchan in his life gopal ji has just given all the mat temple utsav festival and 10000 cows and all the disciples everything is done but apart after this also the, this nishkinchan bab was also there inside madhavendra pad those who are nishkinchan definitely he will remain nishkinchan there is actually no other alternative there will be no other barrier in his way prabhupad is nishkinchan yesterday i have just uh, shown that uh, king kul shekhar inside him this kind of prayer we have just seen in this king kul shekhar that's why prabhupad has just uh, has just published this book because prabhupad has so much anand 
दैट किंग कुल शेखर महाराज जी ही इज एक्चुअली अ किंग दिस कुल शेखर ही दिस प्रभुपाद इज मिस बिकम गेट लॉट ऑफ अनंत दैट्स वाई स्पेशली प्रभुपाद जस्ट पब्लिश वन बुक रिगार्डिंग दिस किंग कुल शेखर एंड and after publishing we have just given this updesh you just need to read this definitely you will uh, learn something from this lot of things are there to learn in this so uh, for this only prabhupad actually is speaking and bhakti mohan thakur is just uh, picking up this point because this shloka this actually it is connected with that what it's written there what it's written there that hey prabhu that you don't think like this it's like samajhiyo sochiyo this brajwasi is always used to speak this you don't think like this that i am actually asking i'm just going i'm just asking you to just uh, i'm doing your bhajan just that i will be going to kumbhika phal i'm not doing bhajan for that purpose i am in this material world i am not asking any material happiness or in distressfulness this conflicting position of happiness and distressfulness is coming in my life this conflicting process i don't want to get out of that and i am not doing bhajan for that purpose you don't think like that you don't think like that that i am doing for that purpose your bhajan just to get out of that conflicting position of happiness and distressfulness and i just want to get out of the distressfulness and happiness by because kul shekhar raja kul king kul shekhar ji speaking that i am not getting any kind of greediness in this bhajan i am not at all doing with the some greediness bhav to do bhai or bhajan i have definitely i don't want any kind of interest from you you just give me this you give me that for this i am not at all doing bhajan so i just want to get the uh, bhakti on to your lotus feet that's it i don't want anything else and in my whole life i have done a lot of sinful activities i have done in my life and uh, must have i will be going to that kumbhika hell you just protect me from going to kumbhika hell i don't want i don't have this kind of prayer regarding that also to just save me from that hell kumbhika kumbhi pak hell in i just want don't want to get rid of that hell like chitraketu lord uh, king chitraketu maharaj he is a param vishnu topmost vishnu and he is not at all topmost vishnu but actually he is getting the krip of sankarshan bhagwan and has given him the uh, becoming the adipati of gandharv also and uh, he, he it is just like that he is just like a parshad of sankarshan so much deep relationship is there and uh, after that you can see this uh, chitraketu uh, king chitraketu he is actually in speaking to shankar bhagwan in a very joking mood he is speaking to shankar bhagwan has just passed some remark in front of devi parvati to shankar bhagwan and you see can you can see this point that he is actually jagat guru you see he you see is jagat guru and he is just actually uh, just taking her wife on her lap and he is speaking hari katha and what all other jagat vasi will be uh, learning what the other material people will be thinking of him that he is jagat guru he is doing like just in a joking mood because he is actually the first thing is that he already spoken shankar bhagwan as jagat guru 
डेफिनेटली हैज स्पोकन हिम जगत गुरु इन अ ट्रू सेंस बिकॉज इफ सम चित्र के तू राजा हैज ही स्पीकिंग जगत गुरु वाई यू आर डूइंग दैट सो जगत गुरु वेन ही स्पीकिंग दिस वर्ड दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर दैट दोज पर्सन हु नोज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ जगत गुरु दैट पर्सन कैन नॉट डू एनी काइंड ऑफ फॉल्ट सो चित्र के तू राजा वॉट एवर इज स्पीकिंग टू शंकर भगवान ही डोंट नो दैट ही इज नॉट ही इज जगत गुरु he 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 don't know actually what is actual symptom of jagat guru then why he speaking shankar bhagwan as jagat guru it means that when he speaking jagat guru that word he that problem is already rectified that he is actually just making a joking mood that's why he, then why he speaking jagat guru to shankar bhagwan that he must have spoken that who will you are actually just taking your wife on your lap and you are just doing hari katha he must have spoken that he must have not spoken that word jagat guru it means that he has already approved that he is jagat guru what is the definition of jagat guru there is not at all any fault in jagat guru there is any fault in jagat guru no not at all those you are actually calling jagat guru there is any fault in him so king chitraketu has just shown to so propad actually speaking the same point uh, what chitraketu raja is actually speaking that those who are actually you are speaking vaishnav you are speaking guru that you are actually seeing their fault you are seeing their is there any fault in vaishnav you are actually speaking in vaishnav so why you are seeing fault in him you there is no fault in vaishnav at all how it is possible so this uh, raja king chitraketu in actual in actual swarup in naturally there no apradhi has done why because vaishnavanam yatha shambhu shankar bhagwan is just by speaking this this kind of remark he is speaking to shankar bhagwan up on to shankar bhagwan this kind of remark he has passed which is not at all uh, getting into the it looks like aparad but it is not actually aparad vishwana chakravarti pas shridhar swami all those guru varg have just uh, accepted this point that if he has done uh, literally some kind of apta aparad then definitely his degree of consciousness that bhakti will get fall down but this is not at all possible that is not at all done because this ha- he has no aparad for shankar bhagwan he has just spoken like that only kul shekhar ji maharaj in there is no kind of any hell he can he go to hell no not at all who has done so much uh, given so much humble mood and he used to do all the time harinam of narayan how he can just get this hell so this humble mood by his speaking all this just by humble mood he speaking this kind of thing that bhagwan if you will if you want to give me some kind of respect and opulence that what kind of respect you want to give that i just want to be the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant i should get just get this respect if some actual some pratishtha is there actual pratishtha i want to give that i want okay i will accept now you can understand inside his heart this kind of deep vichar is there deep siddhant that tranadapi sunij bhav is there all the time that more humbler than the blade of grass he is the something can be done in his life no he can get sinful activities no not at all who are already there in pratishthit in tranada bi sunichen inside there definitely they will not get any kind of material desires and lust i haven't seen any kind of material lust and desire in gurudev they have mara tranada bi it means that all kind of material lust and desires are already gone that is the actual meaning of tranada bi he has become tranada bi and still material desires that it is not at all possible i have your just you, whatever i spoken we have previously who so ever has material desires and lust definitely inside his heart that that kind of uh, doership bhav will be there inside his heart that false ego will be there that i am the doer and if he is having that uh, uh that doership bhav definitely he will be having the tendency to have that false ego to rule over other so for them to have that tanadas bhav it is not at all possible but this world is so much like a owl foolish that with full false ego they are actually not at all understanding what guru vaishnava are and externally they are just showing that sweet bhav they are actually thinking that he is guru 
तो वहाँ वॉट आई कैन डू इन दैट ही इज एक्चुअली नॉट एट ऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पॉइंट दे आर एक्चुअली सो मच फुलिश लाइक आउल दे आर नॉट एट ऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट एक्सटर्नली दे आर एक्चुअली शोइंग वेरी धन्य भाव और एक्चुअली आई हैव जस्ट कॉल्ड यू ऑल सो दैट यू कैन हेयर हरी कथा लाइक ही स्पीकिंग सो दैट इट लुक्स लाइक दैट ही इज एक्चुअली ही इज द ग्रैंड फादर ऑफ तरणादपी सो दैट he this all they are just sitting in front of him they can understand that like him there is no tranadapi but they don't know at all he is actually fraudster number 1 they are actually calling him and actually in the sabha you have called so that i can just hear something if you are there to just her why actually i have not heard from gurudev foolish number 1 fraudster why haven't you heard from gurudev then now actually you want to hear from these people you are just uh, making very smart very clever you just want to do fraud he's a fraudster number 1 he's doing all kind of foolish things activities in front of others so externally all those persons these material persons they are just showing that external dhanya bhav they are actually not understanding what tranadvi bhav is there what is the actual definition of proper nobody wants to hear that they those who have that smell of pratishtha don't who don't have any smell of pratishtha inside their heart they are just fed up with that that is actually tranadapi but those all the material persons in this material world they don't want to understand this point they are actually thinking it differently opposite way now kul chekar ji inside their heart this kind of then humble mood is there tranadapi bhav is definitely there if tranadapi is near then how this kind of prayer can come from the heart it is not at all possible to give this kind of prayer so what actually you are understanding maharaj actually i don't want to get into the heaven i and i will not be doing any kind nandan kanan with all the apsara that call of kiss and whatever this kind of touch feeling i don't want that i don't want this kind of uh, uh, happiness from the apsara i don't want don't want this kind of profit and loss thing i don't from you i actually just love you that's why i am just taking the uh, that bhakti on to your lotus feet why i am doing bhakti because i need bhakti bhakti begets bhakti money begets money bhakti by bhakti only we can get bhakti so this is actually the prayer apart from that what can be there when kulchekar ji maharaj actually speaking that uh, thakur ji i don't have any kind of desire uh, for dhar arth kaam or this four purushat no desire belief in this uh, dharm arth kaam moksh i don't believe in this why because they are actually definitely put it as in the ocean of distressfulness i actually need your nectar of your lotus feet i need your lotus feet nectar i need your bhakti you just need to give me that just need to give to so that i can drink that nectar now kul shekar ji actually speaking what you can understand from this point that kul chakar ji maharaj is speaking to bhagwan he is just asking bhagwan with a full crying mood in front of bhagwan he is speaking that thakur ji that i don't have any belief in all the dharm kar arth kaam nothing no belief i have and i don't need any kind of land property i don't want to become a king i don't want to become a king also there is one 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 time there is one uh, grest devotee he is having full of money he is actually speaking to madhav goswami maharaj he is just speaking about one brahmachari that this brahmachari you just need to kick him off out of the mud 
दिस ब्रह्मचारी इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड डेफिनेटली वॉट एवर लैंड प्रॉपर्टी एक्सेट्रा एंड मनी आई विल जस्ट गिव यू एवरी थिंग विल गो ऑन देन माधव को स्वामी बार एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग विद अ लाफिंग मूड ही स्पीकिंग दैट यू सी एक्चुअली यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू बिकम मी यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू बिकम मी एज अ रिच साधु बट वॉट इज बट वी हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार that those who are all rich persons we just need to make him a mendicant a beggar your vichar is opposite and now actually definitely today vichar is definitely opposite nowadays who is actually come like a beggar in the mud he just want to become a rich man madhav ko samne actually just laughing and speaking you actually want to make me a rich sadhu but what is our vichar that we just need to make uh, all those rich men on to the street beggar they just want to make us and you must just want to make a beggar a rich man or you have a opposite vichar this vichar is not at all good so this is the vichar you see so now after when you will become sadhu before when i have just left my house he has left his house he has only have some target in his heart that he just want to have that target to get krishna he has just uh, came out of the house all he has left all his mother wife relatives now what is the actual condition now when he has just got into the mud what is his present situation when he has just left house at that time he just want to get krishna that he just want krishna that is his main target but now what has happened he just going for la puja pratishtha he just want that only in his life now it is good no it is true or false you just tell me now actually this la puja pratishtha where it is where it is you just in america russia wherever it is this la puja pratishtha he is just finding it भक्ति में ठाकुर स्पीकिंग आई डोंट नीड एनी थिंग आई जस्ट नीड मनी दिस इज माई एक्चुअल वर्क बिकॉज दोज हुए ऑलरेडी लेफ्ट देयर हाउस दे हैव देयर टारगेट जस्ट टू गेट कृष्णा बट नाउ दैट टारगेट इज जस्ट ऑपोजिट दे हैव जस्ट चेंज देयर टारगेट द होल वर्ल्ड इज एक्चुअली चेंज ऑल पर्सन हैव गॉट चेंज सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल रूल्स नाउ अड इज and so this which are actually is there nowadays no can't do anything but king kulashekar is actually speaking from his heart just by crying loudly he is speaking that thakur ji you just be sure that there is no no actually have faith and belief in dharma it means that i don't have any belief in samaj dharma material dharma body dharma मनोधर्म ऑल दो टाइटल धर्म दैट उपाधिक टाइटल धर्म आई डोंट हैव एनी फेथ एट ऑल आई डोंट हैव एनी बिलीफ इन दोज धर्म आई हैव आई ऑलवेज हैव दैट बिलीफ एंड फेथ इन आत्मधर्म दैट्स वाई आई एम एक्सपीकिंग स्पीकिंग टू कृष्ण ओ ठाकुर जी यू जस्ट टेक दैट इन वृंदावन देर इज वन स्लोगन देर एट द टाइम ऑफ भंडारा Radha Rani's Bhandara is open. You can just those who want to take that, you can take. Otherwise, you can get lost. This is actually spoken in the Bhandara. They used to speak in Vindavan. So this actually they are speaking. And Kulshekar Ji Maharaj speaking. That all the material persons, all that material uh, enjoyment, Maya Devi is just making a new market. New market we haven't went we haven't went to new market. There's a lot of different different kind of lucrative objects are there in the new market, all decorated, and Maya Devi has just decorated in this new market. All these Maya Devi has just decorated all these different objects has decorated in such a fine way that whosoever will watch, then definitely he'll get that send gratification. He will just go for that. I need that. I need that. I give me. I before that I can't stay. I without this girl I can't stay. That is called I will just be put on suicide. So this kind of thing is there. This is actual rules now. You see. But Kulshekar Ji Maharaj is now speaking. That Thakur Ji. Now 
then you what you want and thakur ji whatever will happen will happen i don't have any kind of tension regarding that i don't to have any kind of tension for that no tension like chitra ketu raja i is actually just giving and devi mata parvati just giving that uh, uh, shrap to chitra ketu raja but this uh, this shrap actually what given to king rat chitra ketu he don't want to give that return shrap to devi parvati chitra ketu maharaj is actually speaking to devi that i am just paying dandwat on your lotus feet i am actually paying dandwat on your lotus feet and you don't think like this that i am just paying you dandwat on your lotus feet so that i can just have this kind of uh, prayer that what shrap is what you have given that i will just become a demon i will come go into the demon uh, body i don't want to just give that return i am not actually praying to you that you should just uh, take it back i am not paying dandwat what, whatever is done is done okay no no worries i don't have any kind of issue in that and then shankar bhagwan actually speaking after that when Ch- lord king chitraketu just went away from that place then shankar bhagwan actually speaking to devi parvati devi parvati is speaking the what what he is speaking that you see if uh, he can give he can also give you shrap he has that uh, uh, ability to give shrap to you but he is actually just paying dandwat on your lotus feet and uh, is just uh, uh, accepting it that shrap and he is not at all telling you to just take that return that shrap because he whatever heaven hell in whatever condition that vaishnav is staying he don't they don't actually feel anything whether they are staying in a bird or beast body still they are not at all worry about that but that bhakti should remain inside their heart that is the topmost will whatever thakur ji is happening in our life it can happen no worries according to my own previous karm phal whatever deeds good good deeds and missed deeds i have done the results i will definitely get according to that whatever karm phal i have done previously i am just getting that now whatever it should i have this uh, prayer on your lotus feet only that on your lotus feet i have this desire that bhakti should be there all the time that on your lotus feet this bhakti should be there all the time that is my only desire that what mahaprabhu has told that those who are naam doing naam sadan means those who are actually getting the lotus feet of bhagwan those people definitely they need to just do this kind of prayer that is natural for them to do this kind of prayer that is natural for them to do that that do dharma kami those who are vedanishta all those are doing all kind of poems and shastra they are doing and those arth kami they are actually just worshiping ganpati maharaj and those who are born material desire they are actually worshiping devi durga and those who are moksha kami they are actually worshiping rudra and all this actually the result is that they are actually all doing the vishnu pasak also they are actually doing all kind of bhajan of this whole material things they are doing bhajan of that all they are actually when you will be doing chandi part in the chandi part it is written hmm. it is written there He is actually praying to Ma. Just give me, just give me all things. Nakedness, you see. They don't want to give anything. Just all they are wanting. Oh, always want to take. They don't want to give anything. लेकिन 
बट डिवोटीज दे आर नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रेयर टू भगवान यू कैन सी इन गीता ऑल्सो इन गीता वॉट यू कैन सी यू कैन सी देयर भगवान एक्चुअली ऑन टू द लोटस वीट देर इज नॉट एट ऑल इवन अ सिंगल प्रार्थना लाइक दिस वेन दे आर जस्ट शोइंग दिस काइंड ऑफ श्लोका टू अस भगवान एक्चुअली इफ आई स्पीकिंग लाइक दिस दैट that if uh, once someone can speak that paritrana and sadhu nam bhagwan is actually coming so uh, the devotees are actually some asking something that paritran from you vishuna chakravarti was speaking that what that paritrana and sadhu nam you this shlok actually speaking there's all those pure devotees they are already all the time they are happy in whatever they are getting so they are in all the condition they are thinking that they are all the time happy they are thinking that they are all the time peaceful in your bhajan so the first thing is there that thakur ji that on your lotus feet all those vaishnav they are actually giving this kind of prayer that for that you are just speaking this shloka paritrana hai sadhu naam vishuna chakravarti pa speaking that all those pure guru vaishnav they are not at all asking even from krishna also in any condition they are not at all asking anything from krishna so why they are actually speaking this so the devotees actually are not uh, taking anything in any situation but it's like this that is the actual prayer then how it is possible vishwana chakravarti was speaking that all those pure guru vaishnav they are that is uh, they are actually in the ocean of separation for from bhagwan and they are all the time just want to die they are actually just getting out of this uh, distressfulness of material ocean those who are actually all the time spreaded in all the distressfulness of material ocean those sadhu guru vaishnav they are actually just getting uh, distributed in all the four direction those who just want to go on to their lotus they are actually just getting into that uh, in the separation of that virah for from bhagwan that is called paritrana ya sadhu naam this word means this is the actual meaning but Prabhupada actually speaking that those who are following general dharma definitely after dying death he will go to heaven I will take that actually they are speaking I am Hindu there is actually no word like Hindu Prabhupada speaking this Hindu word what term is this what does it mean Hindu Bhakti Mano Thakur actually giving this nice uh, brief discussion there is no word like Hindu but they are actually using it bhakti vinod thakur speaking that the possible the possible meaning of this maybe it can be possible like those hindu from where it has come those who are sindhu that sindhu from that sindhu place they are actually living there those persons they are called hindu from there they got that name hindu but there is no term like there in hindu there is no term like that but still this has just spreaded in all the four directions that hindu 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 they are speaking now so whatever is there that bravo is speaking that for dharm those who are getting ved those who are dharm kami those who are vednishta ved those who are following that vedas that deathful lucrative offers they are of following of the vedas what is written there and those who are dharm kami Savita Mayer, they are just worshiping, uh, uh, worshiping sun god by that, and they are just uh, think. This already this this discussion I have done already. This kind of vichar is there, Krishna ka viraj ko swami, but Krishna bhajan, that is the most rare. is so much is so much rare krishna bhajan that you can't even understand you can't even speak of that yes sir day tomorrow we will definitely discuss on this point that those who are doing uh, dharma kami and vedanish they are just uh, savita actually somebody can speak they are thinking themselves that uh, this word actually is a female word this savita in this prasang what we are talking it is already written this savita 
Savita, that is the name of Sun God. A lot of persons they are just uh, thinking this point that Savita means that it is a name of uh, girl, Streeling, but that's why their name is uh, Savita. But they don't have this kind of understanding that Savita is the name of Sun God. Sun God is a f- male, male, uh, male link, male name. So they are actually worshipping Savita and those who are Earth Kami, they are actually worshipping Ganesh Ji. When you go to Maharashtra, Mumbai, oh, Durga Puja is nothing in front of that. Ganpati Puja is topmost. They are just asking all name fame because they money, 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 money sweeter than honey. They want that money all. All those Earth Kami, they are actually worshipping Ganpati Ji Maharaj. And they are for material desires and lust, they are Devi, Durga, I am just taking a audio lotus feet. <laughs> all they are actually speaking like this. All you can see, all foolish, materialistic. All are naked. They are actually following Durga Devi, worshipping Durga Devi. You just give me this, you just give me the ad. They are just asking that. And Mokshikami, they are worshipping Rudra. Shankar Bhagwan, they are worshipping. And, and in all these five uh, Upasak, Pancho Pasak, especially I just want to speak this, that especially this, uh, I want to speak about Prabhupada, what he is speaking, that Prabhupada is speaking, that in this uh, whole material world, all they are actually thinking that they are all Vaishnav, this Pancho Pasak. They are also, or they are thinking that they are Vaishnav. These Pancho Pasak thinking that they are Vaishnav. And they, the whole world is also thinking that they are Vaishnav. They are also Vaishnav. So, but they said they are not at all Vaishnav. Prabhupada speaking, they are not at all Vaishnav. This is not that easy to get Vaishnav. <laughs> Vaishnav is not that easy to become. It's not that cheap to become Vaishnav. Vaishnav, you are speaking, it's not uh, at all authentic to call them Vaishnav, these Panchu Pasaks. This is not at all easy because inside their heart, lot of materialistic lust and materialist, materialistic things are there. Maybe he can become Vaishnav later, but they are like Panchu Pasik, they are actually asked to telling, uh, they are uh, proving themselves as Vaishnav, but they are not at all Vaishnav. Definitely, they are not at all Vaishnav. But the Vaishnav is a very far distant thing. They are actually millions of millions of miles away from that Vaishnav Paddhati. They are sitting there on the asana of material lust. From millions of miles they are sitting away from this uh, throne of Vaishnav. And they are just thinking themselves that they are Vaishnav. They are just thinking that they are Vaishnav. What to do now in that? Maybe this kind of vichar is there with us. We know this point that that those who are worshipping Vishnu they will be speaking that we are actually doing Panchupasana and in that Vishnu is also coming in that so definitely we are Vaishnav only so why you are speaking we are not Vaishnav why you are speaking like this then Prabhupada speaking that they are not at all Vaishnav and up till now also those people those people they they have just taken externally that Vaishnav is all all actually they are taking food nonsense food and doing bad association Prabhupada speaking that they are actually not at all not at all Vaishnav at all they are not at all Vaishnav Vaishnav is that person who with full uh, pure pure bhav he is doing uh, has taken some diksha in uh, Vishnu mantra and he is doing uh, all the worship of Vishnu with pure bhav he has just uh, getting diksha in Vishnu mantra others these people what they are whatever they are cry loudly they are not at all Vaishnav not at all Vaishnav they are okay so what we can, how we can understand that who is Vaishnav then? 
how we can understand this point that you definitely have to see his acharan other acharan that just by speaking vaishnav it is not that they will be vaishnav that panchupasana they should it should be sakam they are actually doing with some target with some material motive because bhagwan in gita has already spoken this point that etc has already told and when he is in gita is speaking it is bhagwan already spoken this point so what is the actual reason to do panchupasak to us panchup that is very dangerous to do panchupasana it is very much dangerous these people are very dangerous this full of material desires and lust they are materialistic so it is very dangerous these people are very dangerous so these people actually just forget this point that they are worshiping ganpati ma you just want to worship ganpati ma why because he is vigna vignesh he is just uh, doing all kind of uh, what what kind of barriers are there whether whether in bhakti or whether in getting money you are getting barrier it is written bhakti vigna vinashan kari for those bhag devotees uh, nishinga dev is just removing all kind of uh, barriers from bhakti so what kind of barrier you are talking whether you are want to remove the income tax problem or whatever black money you just want to protect that what is your actual target ganpati maharaj uh, you are worshiping but whether it's in written in brahm samhita openly it is written there so it is not actually getting into your ears you are speaking hare krishna hare krishna and that you are just taking which society you have taken diksha what is your actual motive that just to speak hari naam and ram naam and just to, to get that material motive done ram naam japha aparama ekha that is the motive that's why i have just taken diksha just to get my material motive fulfilled this is just actually the surdas ji actually speaking this point they have just uh, uh, transformed this shloka they are just speaking other kind of pad we should speak chori bhagwan chori bhakto ye to jagat ka janjal hai yes to forget bhagwan and just to forget devotees we we need money 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 sweeter than honey that's it we don't need devotees we don't need bhagwan so that's why prabhupad actually speaking a very nice siddhant in this if i have the time definitely i will be speaking that those who those who can just go to worship ganpati maharaj what they want actually what is their actual motive what they want actually that prabhupad actually already just speaking in front of us that they definitely they should go to nirsinga dev that original source you just go to the original source nirsinga dev because his bhakta vigna vinashan kar you are not at all going to him and those that nirsinga dev who has just taken the lotus feet of nirsinga dev on his head that ganpati maharaj has just taken the lotus feet of nishinga dev on his head ganpati maharaj ji ne nishinga bhagwan ka charan kamal ko apna mastak jat pad ballava binidhay kumbhe mastak vidhan aur mastam mast and while taking on the head lotus feet of nishinga dev it means what is the result that so that they can just Uh, destroy the vigna of others that is why his name is vigna vinashan kari ganpati maharaj is there so this vigna vinashan all the problems why from where that power is coming to solve the problem it is coming from nishinga dev so that's why you should go to the original source to rectify your problems so this prabhupada actually need to give very nice uh, uh, explanation that ganpati maharaj is actually becoming a half human and half uh, is uh, like uh, elephant so definitely we'll be discussing it later that those who are earth kami all the time they just want money they are actually worshiping ganpati maharaj and those who want who are dharma kami he is actually worshiping savita sur surjya sun god they are actually worshiping sun god and who want material desire they are just worshiping uh, durga devi and those who are moksha kami they are worshiping rudra but they are actually they are speaking themselves as vaishnavas 
they are actually giving themselves that they are vaishnav they are just doing vishnu aradhana also they are actually speaking they are vaishnav but they are not at all vaishnav definitely they are not at all vaishnav not at all vaishnav they are that a hatuk by only hatuk ki bhakti inside their heart inside the heart that uh, uh, pure vishnu archan and aradhana can be done because vishnu is not at all at material platform just to do vishnu aradhana and archan what platform vishnu is there we just need to do that we just need to do aradhana of vishnu or chat or maybe you want to do that you just need to go to that platform of nirsu vishnu because vishnu is at nirgun platform he is not from this material world so how you can do the aradhana of vishnu then so how you can do that definitely there is some problem how you just leave uh, vishnu pasak you just can come to me and you do no we will not do why because he is actually very clever he is a thief he is actually taking uh, the external way so vishnu just want to uh, loot gurudev he is actually more dangerous than panchu pasak our own sampraday what they can do everything they can do they can buy a prad everything this situation can just get inside their life so this is the actual situation now you see so this is actually actually shuddha bhakti this pathway mod mahaprabhu has told us this mahaprabhu has told and uh, just uh, have just in kirtan bhakti vinod thakur yesterday we have already done this now we will be just uh, we just taking the kripa of mahaprabhu and the fifth shloka we will be discussing that is a topmost uh, shlok that uh, fourth shlok we are just taking talking about the sambandha gyan and before that with the creation and what is the actual uh, situation of this material world and how we can just get rectification and after that we have just get in the shlok that that naam sankirtan is the topmost uh, way to get uh, naam uh, hari naam uh, prabhu and uh, in shri krishna sankirtan how much power is there what we can can uh, get from this mahaprabhu has told and what is the actual procedure to do that naam sankirtan and how to do that naam sankirtan with ranad pipa after that he is just speaking that fourth shlok you just have that relationship connected with bhagwan that what is bhagwan that sambandh gyan that gets sprouted here if you don't have any kind of relationship with someone and if you don't have any if you have a relationship with your child only that's why you are just taking tension about that child you are actually not at all thinking about the other child you are thinking of your own child if you are actually thinking of each and every child that same bhav is there then only i can understand but you are actually thinking of your own child oh what i will see will eat what oh, are this kind of bhav should not you are not thinking of anyone else for for bhagwan for devotee you are not at all thinking nothing is there only for your child you are thinking that is maya that is he actually he is just uh, getting entangled in mind that is not at all good so that sambandh gyan without getting that that sambandh gyan is without that nourishment you are not getting at sambandh gyan only that point bha- bhagwat seva is possible otherwise not when there is no relationship nothing is there then who ghost and demon you are just doing archan of uh, that ghost or demon who will do? who is he actually that definitely some relationship should be there no if no relationship there how to do without relationship without sambandh again it is not possible everything is useless this is loss of energy that's why param puja band marav ko swami maharaj is just speaking to one chalandar de- devotee mata ji that mata ji speaking to madhav goswami maharaj that maharaj ji you just tell me that from childhood up till now in the old age also i am just going to that temple and just doing uh, parikrama and everything every kind of activity i am doing of bhakti but still i am not getting any kind of bhakti inside my heart i am not feeling anything then madhav goswami maharaj speaking you see you all that child relatives everything is there you are actually loving them why because you have that relationship with them definite sambandh gyan is there with them you are just by doing harinam you are doing okay but you are coming to the temple everything you are doing 
बट विदाउट संबंध ज्ञान एवरी थिंग इज यूजलेस यू हैव थिंकिंग दैट हु इज कृष्ण वॉट रिलेशनशिप यू हैव विद कृष्ण यू हैव एंट थिंक ऑफ दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी थिंकिंग दैट वॉट वॉट रिलेशन यू हैव विद योर चाइल्ड एंड रिलेटिव यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ दैट बट यू आर नॉट थिंकिंग दैट वॉट इज कृष्ण हु इज कृष्ण वॉट रिलेशनशिप इज यू विद कृष्ण एंड वॉट यू विल गेट आफ्टर दैट यू आर नॉट एट ऑल थिंकिंग ऑफ दैट पॉइंट दैट्स वाई यू आर नॉट गेटिंग just uh, that when sambandh is just getting um, nourished and maturity only bhajan bhaj- is possible after that guru ji sambandh guru dev will actually give us the sambandh and just by slowly steadily slowly by sleeping eating just with enjoying more not like that just by slowly steadily we doing bhajan and you are speaking uh, we should get enjoying mood and bhajan is not possible and in that condition how it is possible in that condition when you have enjoying mood inside your heart it is not at all possible there must be some reason for that so in this is the actual material world is so this is like material world is like this bhajan is a very far distant thing inside that false ego what is there that i am a money man lot of rich i am just living in chandigarh i was just living there i am living here this kind of false ego this kind of prost that power money education property what power you have this is not going so this is actually is not coming inside our heart that humble mood is not at all coming in our heart at all so what how, how what bhajan we can do it is not possible when we will do bhajan not possible to do bhajan like this after when we are getting that of sambandh gyan inside our heart when we will be understanding that sambandh gyan after slowly steadily when we are doing bhajan that false ego will definitely go away automatically after getting that sambandh gyan slowly steadily when we are doing bhajan that false ego is definitely automatically get rid of we will get out of that and this false ego when it is gone then the question of hari bhajan can come can arise that this false ego is actually the this false ego when it is gone it is possible question of bhajan can arise before that it is not possible And now you can understand what is the actual thing. So serious discussion is that in depth. And in the fifth shloka also it is written. This uh, Mahaprabhu has already shown us that uh, the one sadak, that one sadak how actually he is getting Bhagwan, how he is accepting Bhagwan, and he has just uh, everything has diverted onto the lotus feet of Bhagwan. Each and everything. just save me that's it that is the actual prayer and this kind of prayer when it is not coming to depend upon my bank deposit when i am going to depend upon my land and properties when i am going to depend upon my money power man for anything up to that point this is just like a fairy tale this is just be like a joking it will just become like a joke my hari bhajan is just like a story a fairy tale in this no reality is there and no uh, uh, truthfulness is there all false so mahaprabhu has just shown this that uh, now this like this you need to do bhajan like that that gaurang mahaprabhu whatever he has not done for us for just to save us in what situation we just need to go mahaprabhu has just shown us nobody can understand he just even can't think of that but we don't have this kind of uh, thinking inside of her so actually is merciless we are so foolish that after uh, so much have been done mahaprabhu just want to kick mahaprabhu we are just uh, uh, they have kicked mahaprabhu we are fooling mahaprabhu we have just uh, 
not paid any attention to mahaprabhu instruction so mahaprabhu actually speaking in fifth shlok what mahaprabhu told like madhavendra puri pad is showing i this craving prayer this is one kind of craving prayer to bhagwan om this kind of craving prayer actually that is why i is word is used ओ नंद नंदन ओ नंद तुझे जो तनुजो आई एम आई एम योर सर्वेंट आई एम योर नित्य सर्वेंट बट बिकॉज ऑफ माय कर्म फल आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग इनटू दिस सिचुएशन नाउ लाइक धुंधुकारी ही इज लाइक अ घोस्ट इन द कम फॉर्म ऑफ घोस्ट इज कमिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ गोकरण जी महाराज एंड स्पीकिंग एंड गोकरण जी महाराज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग you are what is how this situation is done like this this is not at all good you how you get the ghost body gokaran ji maharaj in front of gokaran ji maharaj he is just speaking all the distressful situation of his life and he is speaking dindukari previously he told that i am your brother from that kind of brotherhood is not coming up till now now he is speaking he is his brother now that of desh of gokaran ji has done gone into his and he has just killed his mother everything he has done now he is speaking that he i am your brother brother what kind of brother you are huh? what kind of brother you do you have and that ghost actually speaking dundukari actually this is my own fault nobody is at fault this is my own fault i am just accepting that fault that i am accepting that fault that this is my own fault that my own fault everything i have just uh, uh, all my position is just get fallen down because of my fault only that is my own fault i just am getting the fruit of that also that my name is dundukari and i am your brother and i am actually accepting my fault and everything is gone from my life now you just save me now you save me you are only you are the only person you are all the topmost uh, merciful oh merciful oh vishnu thakur you save me now ओ नंद नंदन आई एम एक्चुअली आई एम योर नित्य दास नित्य सर्वेंट आफ्टर दैट ऑल्सो आई एम एक्चुअली बिकॉज ऑफ माई ओन करम फल आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग इन टू दिस डेंजरस ओशन ऑफ मटीरियल डिस्ट्रेसफुलनेस एंड हु विल सेव मी नाउ फ्रॉम दिस मटीरियल डिस्ट्रेसफुल ओशन I have just fallen down in that ocean of material senses, and this ocean is so much dangerous that even it is there is no uh, pathway we can find to just get out of that. There is all the all the four direction. There is darkness, and just to get the kripa of your just a dust particle. If you are just thinking, definitely my pathway will get open. If you will just just to keep on me, if you will just give the dust particle, a prakrit dust particle, that jivatma will definitely get out of this material ocean. If we just minimum that jivatma is getting that kripa, that I just want to become the dust particle of your lotus feet. If you are becoming the lotus feet of Guru Vishnu, it is not at all that cheap. If the one dust particle definitely oh, infinity brahmand, if you will just uh, sell that, it is chinmay. it cannot be compared with that if you are just comparing with the dust particle of guru vishnu and just comparing it with infinity brahman this is also one kind of audacity why because we do have this kind of uh, uh, yogyata 
that we just want to with what darshan we are seeing guru vishnu why we are not getting uh, increment in our bhajan what is the actual reason now you can understand this point you can understand this think of this if you can do keep on me in our hindi language it is written oh dada and grandfather he is just speaking uh, just respect on to your lotus feet uh, grandfather he is not at all going on to just touch his lotus feet he is just touching his joint he is just is just uh, touching his uh, uh, stomach or just his joint it is just uh, drama it is not at all shraddha this is all drama what they are doing some actually speaking oh prabhu ji you come here like this what do you mean that you are prabhu and he is your servant you are just calling him in this tune you are just calling him in this tune and bhava oh prabhu ji you come here what do you mean by that you are actually prabhu and he is servant you are actually kapat that's why you are foolish up till this point we will be just giving uh, rest we don't have any we have very less time and tomorrow we will be just uh, doing kirtan what what it's written there jannamu dheyo savanan kirtanat yat prahovana jasmaranad api kachit sado yo pisadyah savanay kalpate kutah punasti bhagavan darshana vancha kalpadrushike pasindve pichh patitanam pavane bho mishnabhyo namo namo